Hey, what's up guys? We're gonna be going over voices in this video. It's the voicing tab. So what is a voice? So think of uh, like a Moog synth as one voice. You can only play one voice at a time. So we have voices, zero out of one. None are activated right now. We press one, one is activated. One out of one, that means we can't do two over one or else the universe would break. We can only press one note at a time. So. Uh, with that being said, we can increase the voicing to two, to three, and we can play triads. Right? And that's all well and cool. So, what happens if we take, you know, a single, uh, a single, we can only play one key at a time, but we take that and we double it, then we get something called unison. So what unison is, is basically stacking, uh, you know, a synth on top of each other. So if we have, it's not a lot in like rock. So what they do is, you know, especially in the eighties, they would play a guitar riff twice, uh, slash or whoever the heck it was at the time would play the guitar riff and then play it again. And those subtle differences, uh, pan left and right would, you know, be double tracking and that would cause, you know, a, a very rich stereo image. And it sure beat the hell out of, uh, uh, chorusing and stuff like that. So that's basically what it is. We're stacking them, uh, but they're not offset by any stretch to the amount of imagination, right? So we can only press one note at a time, but each note now has two voices, right? So, you know, we can in we can increase it to four. We have four voices. We're just stacking them, right? So I'm gonna give you a good example. So it, with a max voicing of four, with a unison of two, we can play two notes at once, right? Basic math, um, I fail at it, but you know, you're probably way better than me. So uh, what I wanna do is I want to just have a simple two times unison, right? Uh, so what I'll do is we will this is this is the spread amount. So if you turn this on, nothing yet. But as we increase this, we get a uh, spread, like a super saw type sound. Right. Each is playing at a different pitch, so you're getting wideness, right? You only press one key at a time. So uh, let's go uh, super saw. So that would be seven uh, stacked voices. You see all those saw, saw wave? We're only using one saw wave here, but it's being split in the voicing section. Seven out of seven, we can't play more than one, but we have basically a uh, trance here. Right, but you notice it's mono, so how are we gonna fix that? Well, we turn on the pan position and uh, you'll see something really different in the signal analyzer now. We have a uh, purple and green. Two of the grossest colors on earth. So now we have stereo spread and uh, unison spread. And we can just turn that off. We can have just basic spread of stereo. You can see that. So this is a good way to beef up your sounds. Uh, you can do it just with uh, a simple two voice because you can't have more than stereo. So as you bump this up, well, I guess you can, I guess it just stacks though. All right, I stand corrected. All right, so we have a, a really rich kind of sound here. Uh, right in the center here is mono. So in the middle here is basically ground zero. But as we move it over, we get our spread. But when we have our pitch mixed in, we get trance. Right, so if we're using seven voices, right, and we have a maximum of seven, we can press one key at a time. So what you do is, uh, because we're using modern computers, we can just bump that up to holy hell, and then we can uh, play chords. <laughs> Right, uh, and we have our voice count up here. So right now we're using seven. And we'll be using fourteen in theory if we're pressing both at the same time. 
right? So the, the possibilities are limitless with that one. So uh, I want to show you uh, mono. So mono, you can, you know, bump up your everything. Typically, I wouldn't go too crazy with the unison. I would stick to seven or eight or two for just basic widening. <laughs> Right, so yeah, that's uh, mono, and uh, mono is yeah, mono is just one at a time. You can do that with voice as well, but mono rate it uh, you can press uh, it it registers two keynotes. So if you have a release of one, your next one will carry over. It's a hybrid of uh, a monophonic type thing, and then you have like your trigger and legato, which is you know our phase of the oscillator stuff and your glide and all that. Oops, all, all that fun stuff. Uh, so we'll go back to that. Um, so if we wanted to, you know, bring this up anymore, it just sounds like garbage in, in with when you have a high unison. What I usually do is I kind of max it out, and then I bring this down click on the, the decimal point here. So then you have like more control over it. And then the max value is decreased and you can just fine tune it to where you want it. Wavetable position, exactly what you'd expect. Uh, it's kind of like unison, but there's different start points of the wavetable. So you get really in intense sounds of doom uh, doing it that way um, centered in chord I'm not sure what they do and I apologize nothing that I can tell uh, but I'm sure it's a, a small feature that doesn't do much you can also as far as I know modulate this Get some really crazy sounds uh, but yeah typically I wouldn't go above seven you can I'm just getting white noise there's a lot going on there but you can get some really nasty square bases right all right uh, and you can also uh, get rid of the 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 panning or the the stereo spread of it which is a nice effect for good uh, flexibility but there you have instant drum and bass whatever all right hope you learned stuff we'll be back <laughs>